Frida gave it to me! So, I don't like my present! Anyway, you don't even know what to do with it! It's supposed to destroy innocent people! Immediately. Ah! No, to rule on the carpet. Boys, meet your cousin. She's come to stay with us for a while. Does it talk? Obviously not, moronic one. She can't even walk yet. Of course she can walk and talk. She's five years old, for goodness sake. <gasps> it's five years old? It's just that she'd rather put all her walking and talking energy into growing. <laughs> She's like the daughter I never had. Now play gentle with her. No roughhousing. She's sweet and delicate. Huh? <laughs> oh! Gargulon is mine! Together we will rule the world! To do something about this menace. Yeah, let's install rolls of barbed wire all over our backs or little mines that go boom. That is a little extreme. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I know. Maybe we can slow her down a bit. Let's lure her into the kitchen. How do we do that? There's only one way. <laughs> okay, I saw this nature documentary about lions, and they always take a nap after consuming their prey. Oh. Hey, wait! That's the good stuff! Believe it. She's eaten it all, even the frozen stuff. Yeah, and all it's done is make her heavier. <laughs> no, wait, Wayne. I think it might be working. Perhaps we should tell Mom in a while. Look at the sweet, gentle thing. Why, I can't believe she'd jump on a fly. She doesn't jump on flies, just all other living creatures. We'll just see about that. Huh? Ah! Oh. 
Daddy, uh, piggies. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? See, she's perfectly harmless. I know how to get to the bottom of this. Follow me. No rider can resist a handsome mount like this. See the nice horsey? Would you like to give the horsey warsey some food? <laughs> now your mother's right. She's as sweet as a baby lamb from Lambshire. <gasps> I wish Gargulon 4000 was real. <laughs> Why did you tell Mom we'd take her to the park, Wayne? <laughs> Wayne, what's your idea? What are you doing? We can't just leave her there. <laughs> Why not? That's my idea. Well, we can't do that. She's just a baby. Sort of. We'll get in big trouble with Mom. Hmm. No, we won't. We can lie. She lied. She pretended like she never jumped on us, remember? She's escaped through a tunnel! Yes! Woohoo! Wayne, come on. We've got to get her back. <sighs> I guess she's not under there. Oh, well, we tried. Come on, Wayne. We have to find her before she gets into trouble. But why? It's your fault. Big wow, Grub Features. You should be thanking me. Oh, what are we going to tell Mom? Just say a lion ate her. And then it took a really long nap. Mr. Winkle, what a pleasant surprise. What are you... Tell me, Cramp, is this yours? Party, 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 party! The poor baby. How on earth? Yes. Uh, uh, thank you for bringing her home, Mr. Winkle, sir. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> oh, she's rather partial to a piggyback ride. I ain't no piggy, Mr. Crump. Ow! Oh, what are you doing, sir? Giddy up, piggy. I want to go home. Ow! And I think it's pie time to take you home, too, little lady. Ooh! <laughs> Wait! I need some groceries. Let's go shop. <laughs> that way, Piggy. Giddy up. Come on, get up. Ah, come on. Move it, move it, move it. Let's go. Person's plumbing. Poor 
personal pipe cleaner shown actual size? Hey, that looks like Tony. Mom! Mom, look at this! Looks like your little friend Tony. It is Tony! His family must be using him as a human pipe cleaner. Goodness gracious, that's dangerous. Do you think I should inform the child labor authorities about it? About Tony? Yes, why not? But it's you that's in real danger. Me? You'll be sleeping over there tonight. Tony's sure to be contaminated with all kinds of sewer germs and other icky poo. You're simply not used to germs of that caliber. You'll need protection. You'll have to wear your biohazard PJs and be contaminated when you get back. Oh, Mom. I hate these pajamas. Pajama pants? To save my friend Tony. Oh, that little swamp freak. Well, at least I have friends to save. Huh. Huh? Hi, Tony. Carne by a loca. Most at finest. Mm. Supper sure smells good, Mrs. Parsons. She's doing the laundry. Never told me you did plumbing. Isn't it dangerous? Uh huh. It's just one of my jobs, and it's the one time my size is a real advantage. But crawling into a morass of germs and muck, that must be kind of, ew, gross. Drainage work is a great swamp folk tradition. Parsons Plumbing has 24 hour emergency service. We never sleep when it's time to go deep. Well, that's our slogan. Wow. I wish I had a slogan. We never sleep when it's time to go deep. Well, it's gonna be time to go deep real soon. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Can I use your bathroom? Wow! It really is you. You never ever visit me. It's right in there, and you're just in time for my tea party. Having tea with you and my famous world leaders. I just fed you a bun. Yeah, yeah, whatever. The deeper people left through that door in search of a pure, more earthy existence. They feared neither dark nor deep. Wow. What happened to them? No one knows. They were never seen or heard from again. It's been locked for years. We can't find the key. Tony! A call's come in and it sounds like a deep one. Get your rig on and meet me at the truck. All right, a deep one. Coming down! A deep one? Mm. Hello, Mr. Winkle. Mrs. Winkle. Well, things have gotten a little swampy around here. It's no joke, Parsons. Of course not, sir. Make him fix it, dear! Make him fix it! Fix this mess, and I may grant you permission to tell your grandchildren that you were once in the Winkle home. Full-scale code brown. Are you sure you're going to be okay? I'm the only one who can help them. Okay, Dad, lower away. Uh, uh, plumber's log, 
Case 1200. Winkle Residence. Tony Parsons, Clogmeister. Have encountered a minor congealed mass in front of me. Hmm. Seems to be mushrooms, meatballs, tomato, extra cheese. My guess, a pizza with the works. Have applied acidic decongealant. Mass is disintegrating. Will deploy precision guided pipe defoliant to disperse. Search for primary blockage continues. Hey, Grubface! Where's your little sewer rat friend? He's not a sewer rat. He's risking his life to help the Winkles. So, if I cut this line... No! <laughs> Wainy! Where's my Wainy doll? <laughs> a destruction located. Appears to be some kind of puppet. Looks a little like Wayne Cramp. Deploying the fires of life. Oops. <laughs> Sorry there, Wayne. in the Winkle cellar? That must mean the Winkles must be descendants of the deeper people. Wendy Winkle could be like a cousin. What are we gonna do? Hey, let's have a funeral! Sorry, Wayne. Not tonight. Tony! This is what was clogging up the pipe. You saved our home, little fella. <laughs> You're a regular hero. Regular hero? So, you want to settle for cash, or should I bill you later? Bill? Why, the privilege of working for the Winkle family should be payment enough. Just a minute here. Uh, Mr. Winkle, sir? May I have a word with you? What do you want, kid? Well, actually, five words. Flasso, Amora, Cantu, Amora, Ta. Uh, Flasso, Amora, Amora, Ta. Uh, what did he say, dear? It's a swamp expression, ma'am. Means the deeper you go, the more you know. Somehow my boy must have gotten the idea that your husband would understand swamp. Why, that's... that's... Ridiculous. Isn't it, sir? Well, of course it's ridiculous. Uh, you, you tell the little squirt it's ridiculous. I sure will, but uh, first, you were saying about this, Bill. I was saying that in light of the great service you've done for my family, you deserve a bonus. Thank you very much, Mr. Winkle. Thank you very much, sir. And I'll have a little chat with Tony. So you really thought Mr. Winkle was a swamp person? Yeah, but it seems I was wrong. My dad explained that the ground under Soap City keeps shifting. So all that stuff I saw must have just ended up under the Winkles' house by accident. Wow. Geology is amazing. You've got my Wayne. It's all ruined. You've ruined my favorite doll! Want me to beat him up? 